Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to look at font themes in Storyline 360. Keep in mind this also applies to Storyline 2 and to 1. Now font themes allow you to apply a particular font throughout your whole project. And I have a slide here that's got a heading, some body text, I've got a shape with some text in it and a button. And the default setting in, in Storyline is Open Sans font for, for both the heading, body uh, and body fonts and, and in shapes and buttons. But that may not suit your particular project. You might have a corporate font or a particular font you want to use. So rather than inserting everything using the default font and then changing it slide by slide, you can set up a font theme and then that font will be applied every time you insert one of those objects or slides. So you find the font themes in the design tab. And if you come across to fonts over here on the right, now it's good to set your font themes along with your color theme and master slides at the beginning of your projects. Now, when I click on the drop down in fonts, you can see there's a few combinations already existing in, in Storyline. And you can see the Open Sans one is the one that's the default is that's being applied. Now these combinations, there's two, one for heading, one for body. Now from the list here, you might find your particular font that you want to use and you, all you need to do is just select it from the list here. But if not, come down to the bottom where we can create new theme fonts. And you select that option and you just have a couple of choices, what you want your heading font to be and your body font to be. Now in my particular example, I've, I've picked a couple of, of fonts that I want to use. So I find it from the list here, so I'm going to go Lato for the heading and I'm going to go Roboto Slab for the body. Now. Uh, any font that you have installed on your PC will get picked up in Storyline. So you can uh, choose, it'll, it'll appear in the list for you to choose. Then we just give our font a, a name. Uh, I'll call it the tutorial and hit save. And when I do that, you'll see that the, 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 the text that's on the screen uh, and the stuff that's in my shape and button has all changed. The, my heading text is now Lato that I chose from the list and my body and my shape and my button text is all Roboto Slab. So it's a quick and easy way of making that change. Now every time now I insert a text box or a slide or a shape or a caption, it's all going to have that, that particular body font that I need in it. So that'll save me some time. It's also handy that if I happen to get to the end of a project and something happens, something changes, and all of a sudden I don't need to use that maybe that one of those or both of those particular fonts, I can come back to the design tab and fonts. And here's the one I have selected. I can uh, right click there and I can delete that font theme if I don't need it anymore, or I can edit the font theme. And then I can change my body font, say to, to Homer and still same heading, still this particular font com theme combination, and I'll save, and then all my body font changes to, to Homer, which I've just selected. So really quick and easy way if you need to make a change. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, check out font themes, great way to save uh, some time in your, in your courses, and good to set up along with color themes and master slides.